Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed Zair, 1905370. Today, my topic of presentation is bulky organic minerals. So, starting my topic, first of all, we have to know what is organic farming. So, in organic farming, we are uh, we use um, generally use organic minerals, organic fertilizers. Not even a single penny or a single piece of synthesized or synthetic fertilizer is used in organic farming. So, uh, then what are the components of organic farming? Fertilizer management, weed control, insect pest and disease control. So, in fertilizer management, as the <coughs> Uh, world population is increasing day by day food therefore the fire need of food and fiber is also increasing day by day with the passage of time so in order to fulfill the requirement of this uh, <coughs> high population increased population we have to increase our yield that is only possible by the use of fertilizer so to, in order to get uh, to get high yield, fertilizers are applied to provide nutrients to crop a plant by using uh, fertilizer land, water and air. But uh, as we use fertilizer, our land and air is being polluted. That can cause serious diseases in human beings, also in uh, also in animals. So, thus to avoid the uh, these problems, organic farming play important role. Manure, the f- main key of organic farming. Manures are the organic uh, material derived uh, from animal, human, and plant residue, which control contain plant nutrients in uh, complex organic forms. Manures are grouped into two types: bulky organic manure and concentrated organic manure. So here. My topic started that bulky organic manure contains small percentage of nutrients and they are applied in large quantity. The most prominent bulky organic manures are farmyard manure, sheep and goat manure, poultry manure, green manure. Farmyard manure uh, is the refers to the decomposed mixture of the dung and urine of farm animals. The quantity of nutrients uh, is in manure varies in types uh, with the type of animal feed uh, composition. Uh, breeding material, length of storage, etc. A typical application of 25 ton per hectare of farm yard manure from housed organic cattle will contain 150 kg of new uh, nitrogen, 25 kg of phosphorus, and 140 kg of potassium. So, further sheep and goat manure droppings of sheep and goat manures are uh, higher, uh, contain higher uh, nutrients than farm yard manure. Uh, then crop residue crop residue uh, can be important source of nutrients to the subsequent crop the quantity and quality of the crop residue will clearly influence the build up of the organic or uh, soil organic matter then poultry manure it is fermented very quickly 50% of its nitrogen is lost in 30 days then it contains uh, 3.03% nitrogen, 2.63% poti- uh, potassium oxide, and 1.4% uh, uh, potassium oxide. <coughs> Green manure. Many crops are grown and at vegetative stage are mixed up with in the soil just to improve and enhance the organic matter of the soil. At vegetative stage, uh, uh, these crops are compo- decomposed very easily and are and worked uh, in like organic fertilizer due to low ratio of carbon nitrogen. Then concentrated organic manures. They have high high nutrient contents than bulky organic manures, but <coughs> they are applied in less uh, less quantity. Then we have uh, oil cakes composed composed by fertilizer oil cakes are after oil uh, is extracted from the oil seed the oil cakes are do uh, they lose when the oil uh, seed jab hum oil seed mein se oil ex- extract kar lete hain then the remaining portion is dried as oil cake which is used as manure and uh, it contain a large number of nutrients then comes composed more mass of rotten organic manure made uh, made from waste is called compost it may be farm compost town compost biofertilizer 
by fertilizer it is defined as preparation containing living cells of efficient strains of microorganisms that helps crops help plant uptake of nutrient by their interaction with the rise of spare when applied through uh, seed or soil most common biofertilizers are nitrogen fixing phosphorus mobilizing phosphorus solubilizing plant growth promoter this is all thank you if you have any question you can ask below the comment section thanks a lot